Well, Pittsburgh is getting ready to head back on the road and getting ready to play in another dome. They've won five straight road games, extending back to last season, their longest stretch since 2020. For more on how they can keep extending it, let's check in one final time with Bob and Coach for your keys to the game, presented by your neighborhood Ford store. Guys. All right, Missy, thanks very much. So it's a big game on the road again. This is a young team. Coach, how important is it to get off to a fast start, especially against a team like that? You know, I like to get off to a fast start, um, but it doesn't define us. We can't allow it to define us. We can't be subject to something as fragile as that. Um, football is 60 minutes, but for us, um, how we absorb the environmental component of it, particularly initially, is significant. Um, you can quell a crowd early in the game with playmaking, uh, like we did on the third down play to, to Calvin Austin a week ago, relatively early in the game, or you can wake a crowd up. And uh, this is our second opportunity in a, in a, in a venue on the road, man, and, and, and we got to take control of it. And, uh, and we got we to gotta empower the Steeler Nation that's there um, as well, man. Uh, by the end of that game, man, last week, man, we felt the presence of Steeler Nation, and so did Vegas. And um, I'm excited about maybe seeing Steeler Nation in Houston and, and us doing what's necessary to entertain them to make that a legitimate thing as well. Yeah, it was like 70-30. It was unbelievable how much you saw there. Uh, TJ talked about that. How important is that for players to hear that, for you as a coaching staff? How, uh, can you raise your level of play even more hey, in that situation? Forget the level of play. We're talking about really tangible things, man. TJ and I all last week were talking about, man, if we get up on these guys, they might be operating on a silent count late in the game in their, in their home venue. And what an advantage that is for a rusher. That's what TJ's talking about. Um, and you felt it with the pressure that we were able to apply later in that game with he and others. Uh, and it's because of the environment created by, by Steeler Nation. And so um, it's more than just an intangible quality to that discussion. There's a real tangible quality to that as well. One other thing before we go, and that would be they're going to honor J.J. Watt in the ring of honor. TJ's going to be there. I imagine for the family that's going to be a very big moment for them. No question. Uh, but I'm sure TJ won't care at all <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, man. TJ's somewhat of a serial killer, particularly when it comes to game time. Uh, he won't care at all. Um, he, he's, he loves his brother. Um, it is a blueprint for him. But uh, what's going on in that stadium on game day relative to those things, he won't. <laughs> Coach, I look forward to it. we got a serial killer going against Freddy Krueger. You can't miss it, and you'll watch it on KDK TV. Thanks for your time, Thank as you. always.